Hey guys, so Chevy, Honda, Toyota, all that. Um, I think I found what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. Something like this. But I don't want to do that. I'll keep that one in mind. So you basically just walk in and out of aisles until you find what you're looking for. Since I'm not looking for something that's on any particular vehicle, um, like a Chevy or um, Ford, I'm just going in and out of aisles. But if you knew what car you were looking for the part on, you would just go to, say, the Chevy aisle and look for your car or truck, whatever you have, and look for the part on that car and pull it off to pay for it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. I came up here looking for a radiator one. Let me go look at those vans down there because I know usually those conversion vans usually have like spare tires um, on the back of them. So that would have been fun to build out. You guys see this? 1500. Holy. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. I'm about to get in here and see if I can stand up. This could be a great test. I just want to see if I can stand up in here. See how tall it is. Alright. Test. Oh my god. I could almost stand up in here. Oh my god. Look at all that storage room up there, guys. Look at that. I can almost stand up in here. I'm six foot three. And I'm almost standing straight. Oh my God. I didn't expect this. Wow. And look, if you guys want this, like this top, all you gotta do is come in here and get it. Like, it just got screws in it. And you can cut your uh, roof away from your van. So if you're looking for to do like a high top conversion, go to a junkyard and see if they have any high tops on any vans. Because you can literally take this thing out. Like if I had this van and I want to do a high top, I wouldn't pay anyone. I would take this out of here. Like this is, and I bet like, they won't charge you over a hundred dollars for it i guarantee it guarantee it take me at my worry because this place is really cheap you can get a whole um i think transmissions are like 60 bucks and engines are like a hundred bucks here or something like that like this place is really cheap i think for an engine and trans is a hundred bucks i mean uh 200 bucks though not sure if you guys want you guys could go on their website i'm pretty sure they're not going to say anything about uh the high top though but look at this so the whole thing is fiberglass it got the heat shield up here let me see and then it uh has that yellow stuff on top of there but this is sweet well i guess you wouldn't want this one but i mean that's an easy patch to be honest that's an easy patch wow well that's uh that's surprising i didn't think i was gonna be able to almost stand up straight in one of those that's uh that's shocking so it doesn't have what i'm looking for on the back of right here let's see what those drawers are i apologize oh that's pretty sweet so it just swivels out like that these could definitely be repurposed take this out of here and put it in another van clean this wood up that could definitely be repurposed all right so the battery is about to die on the gopro so i'm just gonna um walk around here a little bit more i think you guys kind of got an idea 
of uh, of what this place is. I want to show you guys this conversion van again, just in case you guys are thinking about going to the junkyard or something. So that's the top on that thing. And I was able to almost stand up in there. Freaking shocked the hell out of me. I didn't. That's crazy. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Um, I'll let you guys know if I find the part I'm looking for. I'll come back to you guys. Bye. craziness I guess someone wanted a whole car but not bad enough to do it nicely My, what big hole you have. Look at this. Oh my God, this is cool. This is really cool. Is this a Bronco? Is this a Bronco? Dodge Rider. I never even heard of this before. get this guy to do my paint job 1987 that could be actually really cool to like stay in the back of here I could definitely picture that I could definitely I would make that work somehow Daisy wish you were shorter Damn it, my tallness. So this is the generator, guys. Yeah, hot air pulling out. I'm gonna cover it since it's raining right now. I'm probably still gonna leave it. These are patches that I made uh, to cover everything up. So you basically just go like this. I've been on the freeway and everything with this thing already and it run I mean it uh I couldn't even tell it was back there I had to reinforce the door with some two by fours and um I had to make let me see if you guys basically it's just a shelf in there with some L brackets holding it up so that's the generator running there probably close it a little bit just since it seems like it's gonna rain and the thing about this I can start it up in the van so I can reach my hand right outside this window and start that baby up I really like that I think that's pretty cool so that's it guys I just want to touch on it for a second um, probably gonna make a deeper in-depth video uh, just not today because I uh, been lacking slacking I got a lot of videos to upload today and edit so you guys are about to get bombarded with videos so get ready all right bye